sustain. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. I'm the circuit court for the city of Mount Vernon. The Honorable F. Patrick Gates and the Honorable John C. Cook, Judge of Presiding. You may be seated. Well, good afternoon. Sorry uh, we got started late. We had, this is the uh, investiture number three, four, and five of the day. We had one and two in Amherst, and uh, that went a little longer than expected, but thank you for everyone being patient. I want to welcome everyone here today to the investiture of Mary Driscoll, Stephanie Maddox, and Ed Burnett. Uh, this is a special day in the lives and careers of these individuals and their families. Uh, and at this time, I do want to take a, just a moment to recognize uh, their spouses and families. Um, the uh, spouse of uh, Mary Driscoll, Dr. Robert Driscoll, and uh, uh, their family is here today. And if he would maybe stand for us, Dr. Driscoll. Okay. And I believe their children are at camp. So you know, the children couldn't be here, but they do have some children as well. So they picked camp over investiture camp. <laughs> And then uh, Craig Maddox, who is the uh, spouse of Stephanie Maddox of Hill Stand, and I believe their children are here, Samantha and Zach. And they must not could have found, find any good camps to go to uh, today. So, and then uh, Barbara Burnett, uh, the spouse of Ed Burnett. Barbara's here, and I do want to thank all of the families and their extended families for being here as well. At this time, uh, our Chief Judge, John Cook, has some special recognitions and guests that he would like to welcome as well. All right, does anybody know what time it is? Uh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> we got two judges in Amherst invested really good today. Let me just tell you that. Uh, first of all, I want, I want to recognize some people here today. Um, the Honorable T. Scott Garrett and Honorable Ben Klein, members of our General Assembly, uh, are present. We thank you for your presence today. Judge Gamble was speaking earlier about uh, the, the five judges that got filled. We've had challenging times with funding across the state of Virginia. It's been challenging for uh, a lot of areas in the judiciary. It's been challenging here in the 24th Circuit. Um, we appreciate the work both of you have done to fill these judgeships. And I, I, Judge Gamble pointed that out. I saw my old friend from Boy Scouts, Scott Garrett's mouth uh, Judge Gamble didn't know how much political ca uh, capital I, I saw Delegate Garrett say a lot. So we appreciate you spending that political capital and also selecting these three individuals for these judges. We've got fine people coming in for these judgeships. So we thank you, uh, Scott Garrett and Ben Klein. Uh, I do want to recognize ju the judges that are here. Uh, Federal Judge Norman Moon, I know, is here. Uh, Supreme Court Justice Leroy Millette is present, and I'm, I'm not going to be able to find the people here. Court of Appeals, oh, there he is. Court of Appeals, William Pet Petty is here. From the 24th Circuit, uh, retired Judge Laburn Mosby. Recently retired Mike Gamble is here. Uh, William Sweeney is present. Kim White from the 10th Circuit, office in Farmville, Prince Edward County. Uh, from the J&D Court, Judge Kenny Farah is present, uh, Ellen White is present, uh, Lewis Harrison is present, uh, probably Jeff Bennett may be on his way, newly invested in Amherst. Uh, Phil Wallace is present, retired from the J&D Court. Uh, Harold Black from the General District Court is present, Sam Eccleston is present. Uh, let's see, I think I, and Joe Milam from Danville has come. Thank you. Good, nice to see you, Judge Milam. Uh, so I may have missed somebody, but, uh, you know, it's important, you did, and Judge Gamble pointed this out in Amherst, about look at all these judges that are here today. We're here today because we honor this day of, the, of investing these individuals as judges. And as Judge Gamble said earlier, that we're here to support them, and uh, I know I've relied on, on uh, uh, a lot of judges uh, to, to help me along the way, and we're here to help you all three along the way uh, as you take these judgeships. Uh, Judge Burnett, your family is here. I see your mother. Your sister is here, right? Is Larkin here? We're, oh, okay. Here we are. Well, what I would say is I've known Judge Burnett my whole life. Uh, his wife, Barbara, my three daughters call Aunt Barbara. His mother, Carlise, is one of my favorite people of all time. I've known his sister uh, Larkin and Steve Connolly, his brother-in-law, and 
Is Thornton here too? Is Thornton? Yeah, there's Thornton. I've known Thornton. Well, I haven't seen him today, but I've known him my whole life. Uh, it is my great, great, great pleasure to call on Justice Leroy Millette of the Virginia Supreme Court for the swearing in of Ed Burnett as Circuit Court Judge for the 24th Circuit. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge all the duties incumbent upon me. Discharge all the duties incumbent upon me. As a judge of the 24th Judicial Circuit. As a judge of the 24th Judicial Circuit. According to the best of my ability, so help me God. According to the best of my ability, so help me God. my fifth investiture today, and I've lost count of how many I've been to in the past. Every investor breaks down into two points. The words are different, but the themes are the same. Thanks, gratitude to the people that got me here, gratitude to the opportunity to serve, and second, the pledge to do your best. The words change, the themes always remain the same. I am very thankful today, and I give thanks to my family who's here. John already introduced my mother, Carlise, who's here, my dad, Ralph, who's here in spirit, all of my siblings, Thornton and his wife, Kelly, Larkin and her husband, Steve, and I just am so glad they're here to share this, this special day with me. I have assorted cousins on the, all over the place and nephews. I have Cliff and Cole and Caitlin, my niece and nephews. My cousins, Lanny and Bobby Watkins, are here, Linda Williams. I'm so pleased and proud all of you could be with me. I'm stopping there, folks, because once you get outside family, it is a slippery slope. <laughs> Except for one person that I do need to take a moment to thank, and that's my wife, Barbara. There's a saying, behind every successful man stands a woman in utter disbelief. <laughs> Well, my wife Barbara has actually stood beside me, and the only time she's been behind me is when I need a push or maybe a kick, which she's very, very good at and adept. And I've needed kicks, I've needed pushes, particularly when things didn't turn out the way I had hoped they would on failed attempts in the past to reach this wonderful moment that we have here today. So Barbara utterly believed in me. She encouraged me and helped me pursue my dream, a dream that I realize here today. I would not be here without your love and support. We did it, babe. <laughs> All right. I told you I'm not going to attempt to name and mention the countless people who have helped me to get to this wonderful day. You know who you are. And your presence here today is a gift that I will always treasure. It is a wonderful, wonderful gift. I can't help but say special thanks, though, to my friend Leroy Millette, Lee Millette, fellow William & Mary tribe member who I've known for many, many years before he became Justice Millette. And I can't thank you enough for coming all the way from Williamsburg to do me the honor today, Lee. Uh, to the legislators, You've heard it before, but you guys worked your magic. You got money where there was no money to be found. Last year, I was traded for a sewer. <laughs> uh, 
so thank you very much. <laughs> to all the delegates and senators, past and present, Vance Wilkins, you're here, a number of people aren't, Lacey Putney, and the, the list goes on, of all the folks that were here that, uh, that, that supported me in my failed attempts, I'm glad you're here to help me share the one that finally, finally happened. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I do want to thank and congratulate all of my other fellow judges who are here, who have been sworn in earlier in Amherst and earlier today. Uh, this is a wonderful occasion. Uh, Stephanie, my successor, I have heard it on good authority that on her very first day in general district court yesterday, she actually found somebody not guilty. Now, I don't have to tell you how difficult that is for a former prosecutor who's all they have done. <laughs> But I told you that shock treatment that you got in rookie school would, would take care of that. And it did. It did. Folks, today I am truly, truly blessed and grateful to be given the opportunity to serve the citizens of the Commonwealth of Virginia as a circuit court judge. And I pledge to do my best to have the cardinal virtues of a judge, wisdom and patience, and to never forget that I'm a public servant. Enough said. Oakwood calls. God bless you all. <laughs>if I didn't also thank our legislature and, and specifically uh, the two delegates that are here today, Delegate Do uh, Dr. Scott Garrett and Delegate Ben Klein for their hard work. Um, filling um, one or two vacancies is difficult. Filling five is almost unprecedented. Um, and we were fortunate enough to have five judgeships filled during this last session of the General Assembly. Um, my wife, as I was walking out today, told me, she said, I think you were happier today than at your own investiture. And I told her, I said, well, giving half a docket is better than receiving half a docket. <laughs> and, uh, so Ed Burnett, welcome aboard. Your colleagues on the 24th are so happy to have you aboard. Uh, for me, especially uh, serving with you on the General District Court, I know uh, of your character, of your wisdom, um, of your love of the law, and, um, and, and you're just... Uh, diligence in pursuing justice. So welcome aboard. We love having you as a colleague. You're going to make a great colleague and congratulations. To everyone here, you're invited to the, uh, the after party, I guess is what they call it, uh, which will be held at um, Oakwood Country Club. For those of you that do not or did not hear my earlier announcement, there are directions with the bailiff uh, if you do not know how to get there. Drive safely and we'll see you at Oakwood.